Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Hidden Zero One Driver and Prog Rise Holder Set from the new Kamen Rider Zero One. Uh, these were just released on Saturday, this past Saturday. Uh, these two items are sold separately, but I decided to get the set that has them all together. You can see it comes with the driver, the Prog Rise Key Holder, the Rising Hopper Prog Rise Key, and the Rushing Cheetah Prog Rise Key. So the two riders that use these keys featured very prominently on the front of the box, obviously Zero One the biggest since he is the main rider uh, taking a look at the side over here just kind of shows all the items that are included this side of the box has the two riders and again the driver and the keys coming around to the back shows the driver and how the keys work with the driver also work with the aims shot riser which we'll take a look at a little bit later on and then up top here the picture kind of comes on to the top of the box and then on the bottom spin this around pretty cool picture there on the bottom so that's it for the packaging I'm going to get everything out of there and we'll take a closer look all right so taking the driver out of the box uh, I'll just preface this by saying of course it does come with the straps for the driver they just clip in here and here I don't bother taking them out of the box because again I don't wear these but of course you just clip them in uh, you know, clip them together around the back and then there's another little plastic square that goes over to hold them in place. That's pretty much the same with every driver. I'm not going to bother doing it, but of course they are included just so you're not worried that they're not in the box. Um, so driver, two progress keys, and then you have these little holder things. Um, they're very simple. They just, they clip in, actually stay pretty securely, which is nice. And then they, they're not closed. You can just clip them on anything. So if you really just wanted to like wear this on your pants pocket or a normal belt, it's pretty wide. I think most belts could probably fit in there. So it doesn't have to be used with just the driver, which is kind of cool. And then you just pop it back out. So you do get two of these, which is kind of nice. Uh, not just giving you one. But that's really all they do. So I'm just going to put them off to the side for the rest of the review. <laughs> Uh, not the most exciting part of the set, but so first of all, we'll take a look at the rising hopper progress key Jump. Ability. Jump. Just cycles between those two sounds on its own Flip this around you get the weird skeletal grasshopper I'm guessing these are actually mechanical. I thought they were like skeletons at first, but I think they're supposed to be mechanical and then you have the grasshopper which will show in the driver on the back you can see it is zero zero one batteries are included you just pull the tab out of there pretty cool you also get the rushing cheetah Cheetah's ability. so you can see it does say ability jump and then this one says ability dash so it says the name of the ability, then it literally just says ability. So there you go. Flip this around, you get the weird mechanical cheetah. And then the cheetah head that will show in the driver. And then on the back, this is 003, with the wolf being number two. We'll get there. Again, batteries included. So we have a yellow one and an orange one. Pretty neat. I like these a lot. I actually really like the progress keys. Gonna put these off to the side for a moment so we can focus on the driver itself. I really like the look of this, it's very sleek. Uh, really nice red metallic paint over here. You have some kind of silver chrome here in the middle piece. And then this is where you hold the keys to read them and then you insert them over here on the side. It does take three AAA batteries which go in here. You just push this piece down, it slides right out, put the batteries in, on or off switch there on the top. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Whoops. Come on now. Zero one driver. So it just says zero one driver, which is really all you needed to say. We will start with the rising hopper progress key. All right, cool. So uh, you can see there's kind of a little contour to the key and there is kind of a little plastic piece here just so it knows when to stop. So you're just going to go ahead and hit the button once. Jump to the sky 
my turns to a rider kick. <laughs> so there's that phrase we all love so much. Uh, so there is the transformation with the uh, rising hopper. At this point, if you hit the button, I really shouldn't say hit the button, it's kind of just hit the key into the driver again. Um, you can see that it does that impact sound effect. Now if you take a second key, So I'm not 100% sure what it's saying there. I'm, I'm guessing it's saying hit impact, but I sure know what it sounds like it's saying, but again, I cannot confirm. So that's the first time. You can actually scan this multiple times, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so that's the second one. So I don't know why some... There it goes. It's a real delay uh, with that explosion sound, and sometimes it doesn't go off. It's a little weird. So as you can see, there's tons of different sound effects. They're all fairly similar, to be honest. Uh, but you can scan that thing up to like five or six times to get all the different, um, you know, named sound effect attacks. And I think that's really cool. I really, I mean, it kind of reminds me of like Gaim, like depending on how many times you would slash the sword. Uh, but that was only three, and this is going up to like five or six. So that's pretty impressive, in my opinion. Now, when you want to take the key out, you just go ahead and slide this. And that'll eject it, so you can just go ahead and take it out. So yeah, that's a ton of cool sound effects and transformation jingles with just the one key. Let's go ahead and check out Rushing Cheetah. Alright, so we hit the button. <laughs> I love the little robot voice phrases. They're really my favorite. So very cool if we hit push it in one time. Alright, so this time I'll use the flying falcon key just to show you that it really doesn't matter which key you use for this. Rise. Rise. Impact. 
I'm wondering if that significant delay is for like a future release of a power up or something that's going to have a sound that plays in between that. Just speculation. So it also seems that all of the different attacks there are not different per key. It sounds like you have like five to six attack sounds there, but they're the same no matter what key you have inserted. So I'm not going to bother going through them with like everything in the future um, unless I find out that they're different. But it sounds like they're pretty much the same as long as you have a key inserted and you scan a second key multiple times. Next up we'll try Flying Falcon. <laughs> so there you go. Now he has Flying Falcon attached. Impact. So there you go. That is Flying Falcon. Like I said, I'm not going to bother going through all the different impacts because they're all the same regardless of what key you have inserted. I think this driver is really fun. I really like the Progrise keys as a gimmick, and I'm excited to collect a whole bunch of them over the course of this year's run. Uh, the driver is fun. I love the design of it. I think the sound effects are really fun. I like how it has both the scanning and the reading aspect for the Progrise keys. Um, I love the little robot jingles that each key has, and that's probably my favorite part. Uh, and then you have, like I said, five or six different impacts. Now, they are the same regardless of what key you have inserted, but that's still a decent amount of attack sounds to get out of this thing. I also like when you insert the key how the one part of the driver slides open, revealing the kind of uh, center portion that has the different picture, depending on which key you have inserted. So, I think there's a lot of fun here. I'm really excited for Zero One so far. The first half of the show has been pretty fun. And I'm just really excited for what this year has in store for us. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.